A Zen master named Koji was known throughout his village for his insights into the nature of life. One day, a young woman named Lily from the neighboring village arrived at his abode, seeking guidance. She had recently tasted the bitterness of betrayal through a troubled relationship with a lifelong friend. With a mix of curiosity and hope, Lily made her way to the humble hut where Koji resided. As she entered, she found him sitting still on a tatami mat, his eyes fixed on the trees through the open window. Master, she began, I have come seeking your help on a matter that has been weighing heavily on my heart. Koji turned his gaze towards Lily and motioned for her to sit. Welcome, dear traveller, he said gently. I am here to listen. With a sigh, Lily began to share her tale of friendship, friends who had brought both laughter and tears, loyalty and betrayal. She spoke of the confusion she felt, the uncertainty in how to move ahead in her life. Master, I would like to learn more about the people in whom to trust and whom to distance myself from. As Koji reflected, a stillness fell upon the room. He spoke softly. While we all try to live with compassion for others, you should also be aware that some of the people you come across on your path may not be receptive to your compassion. These are people you should distance yourself from. Here are three such types of people. First, the deceiver. Just like you had experienced betrayal by a close friend, sometimes we cannot help but befriend people who are not truthful. These individuals may spin tales to gain attention or manipulate situations to their advantage despite our best efforts to deal with them honestly. While they may be endearing or entertaining initially, their dishonesty eventually comes through with the passage of time, eroding trust. Being friends with someone who cannot be honest can lead to confusion and frustration, ultimately affecting your own character. Lily gazed softly at the master, absorbing his words. Second, the negative influencer. Negativity is contagious. These friends have the unfortunate habit of constantly exuding pessimism, and they can drain you of your energy and even impact your own outlook on life. Although we all want to lend a hand of support to such friends, Consider distancing yourself from them when it comes to forming lasting friendships. The master continued. Finally, the taker. Friendships should be mutual, with both parties offering support, care, and companionship. In doing so, there is a degree of tolerance and sacrifice that must be extended for the friendship to continue and stay strong. Individuals who only reach out when they need something and give little back in return create an unbalanced friendship. It is not worth spending your time and energy to stay friends with someone like this. It will only lead to resentment and frustration. As Lily listened, she sighed again, this time in relief, as she understood the master's words. Master, I will be more careful in the future when making friends. The master nodded and continued. Dear Lily, indeed it is for all of us a lifelong journey to come upon the companionship of friends who truly appreciate us. Yet we must move through life with compassion appreciating the value of each individual, even if we decide not to pursue friendship with him or her. Lily pondered, then asked, Master, how do you mean? Koji gestured toward the garden at the back. Let us go for a walk, young one. As they walked through the wooden door, Lily saw that the garden was abundant with a variety of blooms. Life is like a garden, Koji began. In this garden, there are many types of flowers, each with its own unique beauty. Yet everyone experiences beauty differently. In life, there are many types of people, each with their own qualities and energies. Some may suit you, while others may not. Lily nodded, deep in reflection. But how do I know which people to keep in my garden and which ones to let go? Koji began to explain. First, observe the sunflowers. These are the friends who radiate positivity, warmth and light. They have a way of brightening even the gloomiest of days. Their smiles and supportive words are like the rays of sunshine that penetrate through the darkest clouds. They offer encouragement when you face challenges, and their unwavering friendship is a source of strength that helps you weather life's storms. Master Koji then pointed to a group of roses. Roses teach us about authenticity, Lily. Roses have thorns that protect them from harm, but they also remind us to handle them with care. In the same way, genuine friends may have their vulnerabilities and sensitivities. We treat them with respect and empathy, knowing that our words and actions have the power to either uplift or hurt. They are honest with you, even if it means having difficult conversations. Their truthfulness helps you grow, 
and their love is real. Next they came upon a bed of lavender. Lavender is known for its healing properties, and friends who bring peace also have a way of healing the wounds of your soul. They listen without judgment, offering a safe space to share your thoughts and feelings. Their empathy and understanding are like the healing essence of lavender, promoting emotional well-being. In the same way that lavender's fragrance can fill a room, friends who bring peace have an encompassing effect on your emotional landscape. Their serenity ripples through your heart, creating a harmonious atmosphere that helps you navigate life's challenges with a sense of calm. They then came upon a cluster of oak trees, their sturdy branches reaching towards the sky. An oak's deep roots anchor it firmly to the ground, preventing it from being easily swayed by strong winds. Likewise, friends who are sturdy are deeply rooted in their values and principles. They possess an unwavering integrity that keeps them grounded and resolute, even in the face of uncertainty. The oak tree's growth is gradual yet substantial, mirroring the growth of friendships with those who are sturdy. These friends invest time and effort in nurturing the relationship, allowing it to develop into a strong and lasting bond over time. Just as an oak tree's growth yields magnificent results, the growth of such friendships leads to a deep and meaningful connection. As they continued their walk, they came across a bed of wildflowers, each one unique in its colors and shapes. Wildflowers teach us about diversity, Koji explained. True friends may have different backgrounds, beliefs and perspectives. In a field of wildflowers, no two blooms are identical. Similarly, diverse friends each possess their own distinct qualities that make them stand out. Just as wildflowers thrive in harmony despite their differences, diverse friends coexist in your life, enriching your experiences through their varied outlooks. Their diversity creates a mosaic of friendships that fosters understanding, empathy and personal growth. Embrace these differences, for they enrich your life and broaden your horizons. Finally, they arrived at a serene pond adorned with lotus flowers. The lotus flower's roots were submerged in the mud beneath the water, while their exquisite blossoms floated gracefully on the surface. The lotus teaches us about growth and transformation, Koji said. Choose friends who inspire you to evolve and grow, and to blossom despite life's hardships. Just as the lotus flower emerges from the murky depths and opens its petals to the sun, these friends uplift you from life's challenges and encourage you to reach for greater heights. Their presence in your life reminds you that challenges are opportunities for transformation and they encourage you to rise above adversity. The lotus flower's journey from darkness to light mirrors the transformative journey you undertake in life. As the lotus pushes through the mud to reach the water's surface, your friends should help you overcome obstacles and rise to new possibilities as you journey toward greater fulfillment and meaning in life. Lily gazed at the lotus flowers absorbing the depth of their meaning. She suddenly noticed that the sense of apprehension she had felt when she walked in had now been replaced by a new sense of clarity and purpose, as if the pieces of a puzzle were falling into place. Thank you, Master Koji, Lily said with gratitude. Your wisdom has illuminated my path. I now understand that friendship, like the garden, requires nurturing, discernment and understanding. Koji nodded, his eyes twinkling. Remember, dear Lily, that your garden of life is a reflection of your choices. Choose friends who align with your values, nurture your soul, and help you bloom into the best version of yourself.